Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the post mapping or creating an employee record. So in this video, we'll see how we can get a single employee record using a JPA. So let's get started. I'm going to fire up my Eclipse ID and uh, I'm inside the employee controller. So what I'll do is I'm going to uncomment this so now I'm going to remove the code which we have written inside this. So now I'm going to import this path variable, press control shift O, that's fine. And uh, I'm going to make use of this employee DAO. Employee DAO dot and to get a single employee record or to get a single record from a JPA repository, uh, we have a special method called get, okay, find by ID. So you can see that this will take integer as an argument and this will return an optional employee object. Okay. So we're going to talk about this, that optional in a minute. So for this, we will pass the ID. Okay. So this will return an optional, which is of type employee. So optional employee, and I'm going to call this employee. Okay. So now I'm going to import this. I'm going to import it from java.util.optional package. So now I'm going to check if the employee is present. Okay. If it is present, then we are going to return the employee. So employee.get, which will return the employee object. Else, what I'll do is we know that we don't have an employee object. So I'm going to throw an exception throw new we're going to throw a runtime exception runtime exception so i'm going to pass a message employee not found for the id which is this okay i'm going to give a space okay now let's save this so i'll go to the main class right click run as run as java application or you can press control f11 this will run the application you can see in the console okay the tomcat is started with the port number 8080 you can see this okay i'll go to the rest client which is a postman and what i'll do is i'll change this to get and uh, first of all let's see how many records are there in the database Okay, we have three records. Okay, John, Kathy, and Michael. So what I'll do is I'm going to fetch the Kathy. Okay, so I'm going to pass the ID of the Kathy. So ID of the Kathy is 14. So I'll pass 14. And when I click the send button, you can see a single record, which is Kathy. Okay, so this is all about getting a single, single employee record from a JPA repository. So we will make use of this find by ID. So to this, we will pass the ID of the employee and this will return the optional employee object and we will check whether the employee object is present or not if it is present then we will get the employee object otherwise we are going to return a run or we are we are going to throw a runtime exception so make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, if you haven't checked my previous video series the link will be given in the description section go ahead and check it out or you can uh, go to my youtube channel youtube.com slash b2tech And you can go to the playlist. You can find the courses or the playlist for Spring Boot Hibernate or the Spring Boot web application. So that's all about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.